Hi boys and girls, I'm here to help you get started with Tractor Multiplication, a game that we're going to be playing against each other, against me, against my kids, maybe I'll even convince my wife to play a time or two, to practice our multiplication skills. There will be prizes for those students who continue to succeed in this and work hard on their times tables. We normally do a Tractor Multiplication contest with the whole district to see who the district champion will be, but based on how things are going we don't know if that will happen yet or not but we're gonna do our own version here so all I need you to do is type in tractor multiplication in your search bar and you want the first one that comes up before you click just make sure it says academics.com and mentions tractor multiplication you click on that link and it will take you to academics.com into the tractor multiplication game. You scroll down a little bit and click play, enter your name. Please keep names appropriate. I will shut down rooms that are not appropriate, so please just use your first name. Click on continue. Okay, you'll see there's occasionally some public rooms available, but we're gonna set up a private room. I'm gonna show you how to do this and then uh, discuss how to join. If you click on private, if the room is already set up, you would click on join and you would put in the password. But I'm going to create a game. I'm going to make it a private game. And the password is going to be heights with a capital H. You see it there on the screen. So create game. I like to switch over to the blue team because my favorite color is blue. But you could switch back and forth, whichever team you'd like to be on. You could also click on your tractor to change the color. But again, my favorite color is blue, so I'm going to stick with blue. Now for this demonstration, I'm just gonna compete against one computer person. Normally you'd wait for everyone to get in. We'll try to do four on four. That's as many as you could fit here. And then we'll click start game. Gives you a little countdown. And then you start to answer. You can use the mouse, but the best way to do it is to use the keys that are numbered one, two, three, and four. For example, this first one, the answer is three. So I'm gonna hit the four. Did you see that little four in the box? 18 is three. 15 is 2, and so on. I'm going to keep playing here. Be on this computer. stops you, you know they're determining a winner sometimes it takes a little bit it gives you some cool information about what you did notice I got 47 correct they got 29 the only one I missed was one times 11 Again, we all know that one I just hit the wrong button gives you your accuracy percentage so 47 out of 48 right gives you 97 percent 48 per minute so it took me about a minute to play that game it's fast it's quick it's easy you can always go to play again go create another room and so forth. So I look forward to playing this with you. This has always been a favorite of my classes over the years and I hope it's a favorite of yours. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.